This chart shows COVID-19 cases in the Brest City since October 1st, and it's been on a steady climb. The Waterbury Health Department says part of it is because of the colder weather as gatherings moved indoors. I think after um, Halloween, we saw a little start in the increase, and um, I think that that's, that's uh, likely due to parties that were held indoors instead of kind of outdoors. But there's also been an uptick here. The city's testing site at Brass Mill Center Mall. A lot of people have been making sure they're safe to travel for the holidays. But of the nearly 500 cases that have been detected in the last two weeks, one age group has been leading the charge. A lot of the cases right now are among the 5 to 11 year olds. So those little ones that haven't been able to get vaccinated are the ones that are sort of driving our numbers right now. While cases are up, so are vaccinations. State data shows around 62% of the city has at least one dose. Around 55% are fully vaccinated. We, we, we pretty much tried everything. <laughs> Adam Rinko, the city's director of emergency management, says the focus continues to be education. The strategy has had a minor tweak for vaccinating young children. We've kicked off those campaigns to, to uh, educate parents, which is a little bit different than educating the actual patient themselves hmm. to take a vaccine. Uh, so it's a, it's a little twist on, on, on how we've been doing things, but uh, primarily the same, same things. The health department stresses with the emergence of the Omicron variant that age old pandemic advice is key. Hand washing is still critically important. Keeping your distance, you know, just because everybody else is bunching up in line, you know, when you're in a store doesn't mean that you have to. Aside from the city's walk up clinic, you can also get vaccinated here at the health department downtown. Details and hours will be on the Channel 3 app. Here in Waterbury, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.